Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and I am so excited you all are here. In today's video, we are actually taking a break from design. So we are going to be recreating Pinterest trendy outfits for summer. The last time we did this, it was more spring to winter. So this time I wanted to kind of focus more on the summer months because like many of you, I'm sure I recently broke out my summer closet and that introduced a lot of new pieces that I haven't styled in a very long time or new pieces that I've thrifted recently. So I wanted to go to Pinterest and find some inspiration and try this out. Before we jump in, I want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it and like this video if you enjoy it and leave a comment down below. Now, without further ado, let's jump in. So for the first outfit, I really wanted to start off really easy, something that I wear a lot, and it's this baby doll dress trend. So I've been seeing this kind of float around a lot lately, and maybe even like end of last summer as well, but I really like this baby doll dress idea, and I only recently got one, so I wanted to kind of focus on ways I could style it now. And I'm one of those people that gets very cold very quickly, so I liked that this kind of paired the dress with a more casual and like maybe rougher style. Like, I feel like a jean jacket, it's a classic, but it's almost a little bit like rougher than like the baby doll dress allows so like mixing them together was very interesting to me and then pairing it with like docks or like high boots felt like another added contrast that would be really fun so i took the baby doll dress that i own which has like a kind of a floral purplish pattern to it and i paired that with my denim jacket that i thrifted and i also paired it with a pair of docks that i thrifted these docks I feel like kind of match, but kind of don't. They are a weird color that's in between brown and purple. I feel like they're more purple, but I've been told they're brown. So let me know in the comments down below what color you think those shoes are. But I did really like this pairing and it definitely felt like a very easy way to style this dress. I would be curious to see like if this would look cute with like colored tights or if it would look cute over jeans. I know that's a big trend right now, but yeah, I'm just curious about this dress and other ways I can style it. But I felt like this was a really good, easy, approachable introduction that I have been seeing a lot of. The next outfit that I decided to go with was this. This outfit caught my eye because of the green and the pink. Something about that combination I really loved, especially for summer. It like definitely feels like very like watermelon chic. I don't know. Um, or like pastel chic, um, which I feel like is usually reserved for spring, but I like the idea of like carrying that into other seasons. I love a good pastel, so I wanted to recreate this. Unfortunately, uh, the only halter green top I have is this one, which is like definitely more of like an olive tone. And then I paired it with this pastel button down that I actually borrowed from Ethan's closet because I did not have a pastel button down. So that is definitely getting added to my thrift wish list. I did like these two colors in combination, even though they weren't exactly the right colors from the photo, I still really enjoyed the colors and I paired them with my long denim shorts. Now I thrifted these a couple of years ago and they used to fit a little bit looser, uh, but just with time, they don't fit quite the same anymore, which is fine. But I think if I wanted to really lean into that look a little more, I might try and get a pair that's a little more oversized on me. But I did enjoy this look overall. This was definitely a look that I would wear again. 
and I'm really happy to have styled it like this because I don't think I ever would have thought of this green and pink pairing if I hadn't seen it first on Pinterest. Also this outfit made me want to try this with like yellow and blue as well because I do have a yellow halter top as well and I think it would look super cute with like a blue button down. The next look that I wanted to try was this white button down with light wash jean shorts. I thought this one was really cute and kind of like a play on something a little bit monochrome and I think it's super adorable. I love how this person styled it with like a half tucked and like slightly open at the top and with the white sneakers. I really enjoy this look and my take on it didn't go so well. So I paired it with this silk off-white button-down and my long denim shorts and then with some white sandals and I do like each individual element of this outfit but I think my initial styling was wrong. At first I tried this with the button-down completely tucked in and I think it definitely needs that kind of slouchy half-tucked feel. I think it adds more dimension to the outfit and without it and I didn't belt the outfit Without it, it just feels incomplete. I definitely think with like a brown belt and a brown bag, this outfit would have been a lot cuter and I don't know why I didn't style it like that. I might try this outfit again, but it really wasn't my favorite, but maybe with the updated styling, I would like it more. I also think I could have cuffed my shorts because in the picture, the reference image, her shorts are actually quite a bit shorter than mine up here, and I didn't notice that in the initial styling. So I think this whole outfit was just kind of off the mark for me. I think I should have kind of taken the time to judge it up a little bit more. So definitely let me know in the comments down below how you would judge up this outfit because I've kind of given my two cents, but maybe you have better ideas and I'd love to hear them. The next outfit I was super excited about and it is this one, this little crop top with jeans and a sun hat number. To me, this just screams farmer's market and I have not been to a farmer's market in years because of COVID. So I really, really want to make it a priority for this summer to go more often. And I can just see myself wearing this to a farmer's market. So uh, to style this, I paired it with one of my t-shirts. I thrifted this from the thrift store, but it's actually from Shein. Um, we don't love that, but I am happy I found it secondhand. And it's got these like flowers and I actually cropped this myself and gave it kind of a rough edge. I then paired it with my favorite light wash jeans and my sun hat that I got as a gift from Ethan's mom, as well as my brown heeled sandals. Overall, I love this outfit. I'm obsessed with it. I will definitely be wearing it many, 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 many more times because I, I, I'm just obsessed. The last outfit that I wanted to try was this t-shirt under a sundress look. This has been popular for years, okay? Let's let's not pretend that this isn't just a this summer trend. It's a every summer trend, okay? But I have not really worn this outside of the fall because I feel like it's more for warmer weather. Like I've seen it with like turtlenecks and long sleeves. I've never tried it with just a short sleeve t-shirt and I really wanted to. Unfortunately, I recently got rid of my only white t-shirt because it just was too thin. So I do not have a white t-shirt and I have black t-shirts, but the dress that I decided to pair this with was a periwinkle color. So black just wouldn't work. So instead I paired it with this like mauve, like purple to pink t-shirt. And when I first pulled this combo, I was kind of dreading putting it on. I thought there is no way this is gonna look cute. I think that this is maybe a bad idea. Like it's monochrome, but it's like just off. Like the colors aren't exactly right. And I put it on and I actually felt 
so cute. I don't know what it is about this combo, but it just gives me that like pastel dream, lavender haze, like world. And I'm honestly in love with it. I was so shocked by how much I liked this outfit. I definitely still think I want to thrift another white t-shirt. I think it would be super adorable under this dress. But for the meantime, I would definitely wear this outfit again. You'll have to let me know how you feel about this color combo because they like kind of clash, but they kind of work. I don't know if that's just me, but I do love it. Overall, I think that my favorite outfit was probably the green and pink combo with the halter top and jean shorts. It felt the most like me and the most like an outfit I would imagine myself wearing, but I did actually really love our farmer's market chic outfit. I do think that my jeans could have been a little higher waisted and I probably could have worn my hair in a different style for that outfit, but I do still love it. And I love the way that it made me feel. And I think that that is kind of the biggest point I want to get across is like doing these videos is purely for joy and style inspiration and kind of getting out of our normal comfort zone and so if I love something and you hate it that is totally okay. I also think it's important to show different styles on different body types and I am definitely a different body type than a lot of these Pinterest photos which is also completely okay. This is for joy, for fun, and for exploration and I had a lot of fun filming this video and I hope that it encourages all of you to have fun with your closet and fashion this summer. All right, that is it for this video. Remember to subscribe down below and give this video a like if you enjoy it and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.